Here in Iowa, the high stakes caucuses kicking off a little less than 14 hours from right now with Donald Trump with a gigantic lead right now. But Governor Ron DeSantis has been covering huge ground ahead of today's crucial hurdle in Iowa, where key supporters, including our next guest, are still firmly standing behind him and very excited. Joining us right now in this very busy day in this frozen state of Iowa, <laughs> Governor Kim Reynolds joins us. Good morning it, to you. It is a little nippy out there. Welcome to Iowa. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much, Governor. <laughs> so we were talking about the conditions, and yep. that is the X factor. It's right. bitterly cold, but as I mentioned a moment ago, uh, you know, it's, it's just a sheet of snow out there, and a lot of the rural particular areas, the gravel roads have not been graded yet. I think they've been graded. The good news is, um, you know, uh, there's no wind today. So that will help them get back on the roads and get them cleared, and that'll help people get out. So really, the last two days, we haven't had as much wind, so that's really helpful when you're trying to get those people right. in rural Iowa out. And in fact, you know, uh, your side, and I'm going to say that uh, you're on Ron DeSantis' side because you've endorsed him, uh, having people having a tough time in the last 24 or 48 hours getting people out to knock on doors because of the conditions. Although I read in the Daily oh. Mail, one guy's knocked on 23,000 doors. Oh, they're making calls. They're knocking on doors. We've had people from all over the country uh, come to Iowa on his behalf. It's been really fun to see that and to hear the stories uh, of why they decided to come to Iowa to help uh, get people out and to support Ron DeSantis. Okay, so... You know, Donald Trump it could actually hit 50%. If he's above 50, it would be historic. Uh, I know the DeSantis camp is trying to get, you know, shooting for number one, but yeah. if number one doesn't happen, what does a solid number two well, look like? Look, I think it's going to be bad for President Trump if he doesn't come in over 50. So that's, you know, he's not meeting the expectations that the media and the polls have been right. uh, putting out for the last several months. So if Ron can get close to that and uh, and uh, President Trump is below 50, I think he's in the game. Uh, I think he's in the best position to meet expectations, the enthusiasm, the energy. I'm seeing it on the trail. Uh, even with cold weather, people have been showing up and uh, you can feel it. He, right. I think he has, he's in the best position for people to break late and we're actually seeing it. Okay. Uh, this brand new Des Moines Register poll that came out, uh, you know, we were talking a little bit about enthusiasm. You can be enthusiastic, but you don't show up to caucus. A lot of people are like that. People in my family, actually, who live in this state, it's too cold. <laughs> anyway, their question was, who will definitely caucus? And Ron DeSantis had the number one uh, result, with 62% of DeSantis uh, supporters are going to show up, 56 for Trump, and 51% for Haley. So they're motivated. Somehow they're going to get there, it sounds like. They're motivated. We're hardy. Uh, come on. We do we do cold weather. We do it well. We know how to do that in Iowa. And actually, I've seen it on the trail. So I think he had a pretty good crowd up in Dubuque yesterday, about 200. I was with him in Cedar Rapids. There were about 100 there. Big turnout last night in Ankeny, and it's gold. So, you know, they're they're motivated. They know that it's important that we get this country back on track. Let's take, uh, Governor, a real quick look at a brand new ABC News okay. poll about the President of the United States. And that seems to be one of the motivating factors for a lot of Republicans here in Iowa is the number one thing they want to do, get rid of Joe Biden. And when you look at these numbers right now, his uh, approval rating is 33. That is historically low in the last decade and a half. Uh, and, and the number one reason with a lot of people here in Iowa, same as everywhere else, is the economy. But I'm surprised. Here we are in the center of the Plain States, well, upper center. <laughs> the number two issue is the border. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's unconscionable, the dereliction of duty from this president not to secure the sovereignty of this country and, most importantly, the safety of Americans. And we're seeing not only the human trafficking, but the illegal drugs that are pouring into the states. Every single state is a border state when it comes to the drugs. And it's intentional, it's un intentional, it's unconscionable. And it's economy number one, it's safety in the border number two. We're all seeing the impact. You know, we're at the intersection of Interstate 35 and 80. Yeah. So we are a direct route from Mexico to Iowa to disperse throughout the country. Uh, and it's got to stop. It's ridiculous. He is not doing his job. We need somebody that on day one can step in right. and secure that border. Extraordinarily, one of the things people do at the Iowa caucuses is, is a lot of people show up, to, will show up tonight undecided, believe yeah. it or not. And what happens then is there is somebody from each campaign uh, essentially a caucus captain, as the Trump campaign calls them. Yep. Uh, and they'll speak on the on behalf of the campaign. And that's actually what turns a lot of people. It's like, hey, my neighbor just said such nice things about such and such candidate. Since you are uh, endorsing uh, Ron DeSantis, is there anything you would like to say? Uh, we're going to have him on. We're going to have all the candidates. By the way, we did invite Donald Trump. 
Uh, I don't think his uh, schedule is going to allow him to drop by. What would you like to say on behalf of uh, DeSantis? Well, first of all, uh, we need somebody that can step in on day one and reverse the madness that we've seen and the insanity from the Biden administration. Uh, look at his record. He is the one true conservative in this race, and he's got a record to back it up. Uh, I got to know him during COVID, and we were on an island on our own during that uh, against immense pressure. And he stood, kept the economy open, kept the kids in school. So somebody that's cutting taxes, keeping spending in check, has reduced the debt. Uh, in Florida by nearly 25 percent. Uh, the list is long and uh, we need somebody that's not what if but has a record of getting it done and has the skill and the resolve and really the spine to step in there and make the tough decisions that has to be made to get this country back on track. That's Governor. Ron DeSantis. Thank Good you to very see much ya. for joining us. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.